वेलकम बैक टू अनदर क्लास ऑफ कैम्ब्रिज प्राइमरी मैथ्स वर्क बुक सिक्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड चैप्टर फोर एडिशन एंड सब्सट्रैक्शन इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सॉल्व 4.1 एंड 4.2 आर यू रेडी टू स्टार्ट वन स्टूडेंट्स लेट्स बिगिन विद एक्सरसाइज 4.1 पॉजिटिव एंड नेगेटिव इंटीजर्स डू यू नो व्हाट आर इंटीजर्स लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड विद अ नंबर लाइन there are some negative numbers and there are some positive numbers the negative numbers are called negative integers and positive numbers are called positive integers you must be thinking what is the difference between an integer and a number so integers cannot be decimal fractional they can be simple numbers only either positive or negative there i would like to tell you one more important thing the numbers on the left side are smaller compared to the number on the right side if a number is lying on the left of the number line as compared to the other number which is lying on the right side it must be the smaller one hope you got this see here are some signs it's not always easy to use a number line solving integers without number line let's understand this if we have one positive number or one negative number we will always subtract them okay one negative or one positive or one positive or one negative always subtract them and the sign will be the one with the bigger number see if you are if you have 5 and minus 3 you will subtract them and the sign will come with what is the sign with 5 5 is a bigger number it comes on the right side of a number line so i will use plus sign with my answer now if i have both positive numbers or both negative numbers i will add them either both positive 3 and 5 or both negative minus 3 and minus 5 i will add them only and what signs i will use because when i have both positive number i'll use a positive sign or no sign and if i have both negative number i will use only negative sign but i will add them but use a negative sign two different signs we will subtract them when two different signs we will subtract them and the and the sign comes with a one that is with the bigger number when two same signs we will add them and will use that is already given let's move on to our chapter the temperature is minus 2 and by midday it is 5 degree warm first for your convenience i have drawn a number line let's see where is minus 2 and here is 5 degree warmer so we will move on the right side 1 2 3 4 5 when it gets 5 degree warmer then the temperature will be 3 degrees it's from with the number line now let's understand with the integers minus and plus we have two different signs so we find a difference of and the difference is 3 and 5 has positive sign so we will use no sign because no sign means positive sign in part 2 something is added and it gives minus 15 so we'll again move back three steps on a number line to get our first number minus 15 minus 16 is my first step then minus 17 is my second step and minus 18 is my third step so when we move back three steps i'll get minus 18 similarly if i move forward three steps i'll get minus 14 minus 13 and the third step will be minus 12 so i get answer of my two boxes now let's understand with the integers because i have two same signs i will add them 15 plus 3 is 18 and the sign i will use the is negative because both numbers have negative sign please always use this whenever you are feel confused for part b you can see the number line we have already solved this look here that was a box and something is add plus 3 is added and gives minus 15 so we have already solved the number was minus 18 now concentrate here we are doing part 3 in very detail 6 is a bigger number that's why we write it then the different sign because we need to find the difference and minus 2 is the integer we have already given now two minus signs are together what will be the final sign minus minus plus when two signs are together we will just write the final sign and not again two signs minus minus are plus then we will use a plus sign and then 2 6 plus 2 is 8 this is the answer of our part a let's move on to part b minus 3 and minus 5 minus 3 is comparatively on the right side as compared to minus 5 so it is bigger 
always use the bigger number first minus 3 then again we are having two minus signs together again we will use a plus sign now can you see minus 3 plus 5 two different sign when we have two different sign we find a difference 3 minus 5 or 5 minus 3 is 2 we have a difference of two numbers and then a uh, sign will come is plus because 5 has is a bigger number here and we have positive sign moving on to part c minus 4 and minus 8 minus 4 is bigger than minus signs for this question and minus 8 is an integer minus minus plus now minus 4 and plus 8 which one is bigger 8 is bigger we will find the difference and 8 has positive sign so we'll write positive 4 that's it now moving on to part d minus 5 and 3 which one is bigger? 3 is bigger. We will write 3 first, then minus sign of the question, and then minus 5, the other integer we have. Now again, 3 minus minus plus, and we will use 5. 3 plus 5 is 8. Though it looks tricky, but it's very easy, just required a little bit of practice. Part E has minus 1 and minus 6. Minus 1 is obviously bigger than again plus 6. Now minus plus minus we will do subtract and then 5. Now 0 minus minus 2. You must be thinking why I am writing 0 first and 0 is 0 bigger than minus 2. 0 comes uh, comparatively on the right side as compared to minus 2 on a number line. So I will write 0 first. Again 0 plus 2. That's it. Part 4 just required estimation and according to my estimation, it's 30,000. See, part 5 has two different types of questions in different books. So, uh, if you have a pink one question, write the pink one answer. And if you have a one that is in my book, then write the answer that I wrote with a blue pen. Please like and comment on my videos. I love to hear from you guys what you think about these videos. Part 6 and 7, again I'm going to use number line. No doubt it's an easiest way to find the difference. Let's see. Um, the temperature is minus 15 so I'm going to highlight minus 15 if you can see I highlighted minus 15 the temperature rises by 6 degrees rises then whenever the temperature rises, it means the temperature will move towards the right side okay how and if get it gets cooler it will move to the left side now minus 15 and then 6 degrees so 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 when the temperature rises by 6 degree what will be the temperature minus 9 so I will write minus 9 in my answer box the original temperature falls by what was the original temperature again minus 15 was the original te temperature and now it says it falls by whenever it falls it will move towards the left side and when it moves towards the left side it gets minus 21 so I will write minus 21 in my answer box. Now in pa for part 7, I use another number line. Minus 11 was the original temperature and in the temperature, uh, the temperature was 5. I highlighted both the numbers because they have given me the temperature. They did not ask me the temperature. They asked me the difference. Now I will count because it gets warmer so the whatever the difference will be the difference will be the positive number because the temperature get, whenever the temperature gets warmer it moves towards the positive side so there is a te uh, temperature movement of 16 degrees centigrade do it with other way also we need to find the difference of two numbers what two numbers we have 5 and minus 11 which one is bigger 5 degrees centigrade so i'll write 5 degrees centigrade first then the difference because we need to find the difference sign so i'll use a different sign and the number the number is minus 11. now two different sign becomes as positive sign and then 11. 5 plus 11 is 16 degrees centigrade see here you have given the temperature of london and the difference in the temperature from london so you need to find out the final temperature of that place he minus 1 and minus 24 when 2 minus sign they will add the number 25 and the final sign will be minus so the temperature of moscow is minus 25 in new york it is 10 degrees colder than london the difference is 10 degrees colder so minus 1 and minus 10 
again both negative sign will add the number 10 plus 1 is 11 and the sign will come because both have negative sign the sign will also you come as negative so minus 11 Oslo has 13 degrees colder so minus 1 and minus 13 Again, both will add 13 plus 1 is 14 and minus sign shows that it has negative or colder temperature. Now, in our next temperature, it is positive 26 degrees. So, whenever there is a situation, it means it shows that the temperature gets warmer because we need to find the difference now and the difference is missing here. So, we will write 26 first and then minus sign for the difference and then minus 1. Now both negative sign will add and 26 plus 1 will be 27 degrees warmer. Because we have a positive temperature it means it shows that it gets on a warmer side. 9 is very easy you can do it yourself. Let's move on to 10. Let's understand. Petra is here thinking of a number. Let's say this was the number. Then she added 4896 to that number. Then she subtract 5846 from that number. Then the answer will and she gets the answer of 9481. What you have to do, you have to find the first number. So it's very easy. Let's move to backward to get the on the first step. What is our final answer? 9481. Let's write it first. 9481. Then let's because we have subtracted 5846, let's add it back to get our fire. We are moving reverse direction. So I'll again add because I have subtracted it, I'll add it. When I added 9481 and 5846, I got 15,327. Then what we I have done before, I have added 4896. Now I will subtract it back. When I subtracted back, I got my final answer. What was my final answer? 10,431. This was my first answer. Here I wrote the answer of 11. She could just visualize the calculation because all the other numbers are 9 and you find the difference. You know that when 9 is subtracted to 9, you will get 0. So you will get 0 in tens, hundreds, uh, ones, tens, hundred and thousand places. You will get zeros and you will just need to find out what is 7 minus 1 and you know it's 6. So the answer will be 6, 0, 0, 0, 0, 60,000. It's a simple calculation and it can be done mentally easily. Ready to start 4.2 using letters to represent numbers. Here D is means dice and whatever is showing on the top side of dice you want need to use that number. In part 1 5 plus D is showing 4 so I'll write 5 plus 4 9. 3 minus 1 is 2 and 3 minus 2 is 1. And because it was a game so don't forget to write spaces 9 spaces 2 spaces and 1 space. M has always 10 more bottles than M. In this way you can fill this box. When M has 12 bottles, N has 2. When M N has 1 bottles, M has 11 bottles. When M has 26 bottles, N has 16 bottles. Always 10, M has always 10 more bottles. This is the concept of this box. Okay. And what is a number sentence? So number sentence can be when you M minus M m minus n is equals to 10 so like 15 minus 5 is equals to 10 12 minus 2 is equals to 10 so m minus n is 10 similarly part 3 is similar to that for the that number sentences x plus y is equals to 23 so whatever written in the value of x you should add these much numbers to make it 23 like 7 plus 16 is 23 19 plus 4 is 23 11 was already given so i write 12 to make it 23 
and next question we have a right angle and we know that a right angle is always of 90 degree if you divide a right angle in multiple angles it sh the sum should be equals to 90 degree so here are two angles a right angle is divided into two angles if one is 50 what can be the other to make it 90 it should be it must be 40 to make it 90 because one is 50 and other should be 40 no less no more than 40 to make it a 90 degree angle so the value of a is 40 degree here you have to write three different pairs x is representing kiwi and y is representing orange see if you have zero kiwis you have you can have seven oranges all you have to do is the sum of both the fruits should be equal to seven if you have one kiwi you can have six oranges if you have two kiwi you can have five oranges and so on in this way you can write any three order pair the value of x is this and the value should of y should be this this is the way you will write okay x and y the value of x and y should be the multiple of 5 first value is given as 5 so i'll write all the values according to this 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 and 45 now i know that x and y should be equals to 50 so when i have i will make all the values of y to make it 50 10 plus 40 is 50 15 plus 7 15 plus 35 is 50 in this way, I can get all the values that are multiple of 5 and x plus y is equals to 50. These are last two questions. Please like, share and subscribe these videos. And uh, moving on to this question. Just divide the given number with the number of sides. Like 40 divided by 5, 20 divided by 4 to get the value of a and 20 will be divided by 5 to get the value of B. Thank you so much for your time and watching it. See you in next class. Goodbye.